some laptop speakers. It'll sound fine on your end. Whoa. All right. Already sounds infinitely better. Jesus Christ. I'll be able to tell right away. We'll skip the intro. Basically, it's a it's a problem with the PS4 and the HDMI output. It sometimes thinks it's a it's on surround sound, but it's not. Yet. So I'm forcing it to two channel. Yeah, it's not letting me skip this. It's okay. Oh well. Once they speak, I'll know if I'll be able to tell if it's correct or not. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Shh, shh, shh. Don't you guys think this is a little bit cruel? Oh, come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class pres doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Fortunately, hey, Stell sounds muffled, but that's okay. We'll just have to live with it. The voices are just either low quality or just glitchy. I don't know. Hey, did you see that? It sounds like they're talking that's in a tin can, can kind weekend. of. Josh. It, it like instead of being crisp and clear, it sounds like they're kind of talking in a tin can a little bit, and there's a little bit of a not quite high quality about it, which is kind of annoying. It's not game breaking, but we'll just have to live with it. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Intervention time. Unfortunately, I tried the fix, but everyone's a lot of people are getting the same issue. Like the voices, if you if you really listen, you can hear that they don't sound quite crisp. They sound like they're a little bit tin canny, just a hair, to, just to be a little annoying. What else is around here? Get a chance to explore last time. Yeah, fortunate doesn't seem like there's any. Like I tried the one fix that I that there was, but it just didn't seem to work properly. It 
it's definitely not an intentional fact. It's just something that went wrong. It almost sounds like there's a uh, 5.1 voices, sort of like the backs, like the front, the side speaker voices versus the uh, actual center channel. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Hello, Hannah. Roman. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, this all got out of hand. Just a stupid prank. Uh. Oh, hey, you guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah! Let's go find the others. Josh is passed out. There's someone outside. Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. Oh my god. That's what a did prank. you do? We just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! It's not supposed to be like that, McCammy. Stop so taking her? dumb pills. Thank you. You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Oh shit! Okay. Fast way. <laughs> Let's follow the noise. This Damn it, Hannah. Are you? Uh, I saw her running right there, so chase her. Cause we're we're a dumb girl. We gotta follow. We gotta follow the noise. But it's a scary noise. You know. This girl is not worth all this trouble. She wants to run out into the woods like a dumb, crazy woman, and that's her priority. Hannah! It's her pr prerogative. I say let her die, you know, whatever. It's like, what's the point of running into the woods? What's that gonna accomplish you? I, it looks cold as hell out here. It's cold. We should be running our ass off. <laughs> oh! What the fuck? God! Oh, L1. There we go. Hello? Fucking deer. Hello?
death totem. Black death, the possible death of the person who finds it. She just tries to believe the butterflies dream. These totem pieces tells a possible future event. How you play to determine whether or not these prophecies come true. As you lock totem, the events of the past will become clear. That seems like that would hurt. How was that? Montana! Anna, where the hell are you? What the hell was that? Is there a fucking dragon out here? What the fuck is that? Anna! Anna! Hello? Anna! Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here. Take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Anna, back. Run in the yoga pants. Go. They always fall. White bitches always fall. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right, we will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Okay. It's a scarecrow. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Um, makes me uneasy. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? The 
the scarecrow. Well, I see. I see. Let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Let's say a week, for example. No. Oh no? Why not? I'd be scared. Is there something else in that picture that scares you? This actor was the devil in uh, that movie, that one movie, with the. Uh, he played Satan in Constantine. intriguing but perhaps we can explore the depths of your fears the next time we meet I'm afraid we're out of time for now so I think we've had a five minute therapy session Two. anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Andy. For the whole Washingtons tonight, with their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I got to say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Ah! <laughs> so um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. <laughs> I know. You're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. 
I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! Memento Mori. Uh oh. Back off, creepy fucker. I have such a cute little backpack. Oh my god. Hannah's best friend. Considerate, adventurous, diligent, and totally not slut. Uh uh. Mm mm. Hello? Someone there? It's a creepy noise. Go investigate. All right, uh. Just investigating creepy noise. Why the hell are we in the middle of the woods? Like, why are we, like, out here all by ourselves? Just. Else around, far off from the road. Right stick look out, objects that glint can be inspected. I gotta. Apparently, for Halloween, there are hidden there are hidden pumpkins around the, the world. And we gotta find them. Wow, what? The gates busted. Climb over. <sighs> what? Jesus, never mind. I am not climbing over this thing. You've got to be kidding me. Girl, don't do that. I'm wearing a skirt, too. This is not good for climbing. Oh, God. Let's go quick. Cold woods is creepy. Aww. Hey, little fella. You hungry? Huh? <laughs> Cutie. Okay, not moving. If you're unsure what to do next, you can see your current objective by pressing R1. Head to the cable car station. What?
We aren't sure what to do next. Okay. Looking around. I love how she has stats like this is an RPG. Birds. I'm surprised they didn't fly south for the winter. Indigenous people and butterflies prophecies. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believe that butterflies carry dreams and prophecies of possible futures. Color the butterfly and carry the nature of the prophecy. Death. Black butterflies represent the dreamer's death. Red, warmed up dangerous events. Uh, brown for loss. Guidance. Yellow butterflies offer vision. White butterflies, dreams and good fortune. Uh-oh. It will reveal a colored butterfly and, and premonition of a possible future. Oh, no. Guidance totem. Future uncertain whether you, whether or not come true depends on the choices you make. So these are the collectibles in the game, I'm guessing. Another birdie. The past beyond our is beyond our control. Wow, graffiti all the way up here. We can take a cable car. Oh Chris, God. Are you here? Like, are there people not operating this thing? Let's look over here real fast. See a backpack? What's in there? Bags here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Hello. What do we have here? Go ahead, Snoop. Aha! Look who it is. Oh! God! You fuck face! God damn it! <laughs> you scared me. I I'm sorry, are, are you my secretary? was buzzing. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. Are you sexting? Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on. It's this way. Where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. Hold on, I want to check the thing over here real fast. Can I open this? No, it's locked. Wanna at least try. Okay. It's definitely weird. Wanted poster. Yeah, I swear, the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. Victor Milgram, Pine oh, View man, Pines. Look at this. Want a connection nice. with first to be arson offense as well as various death. Is it from America's Most Wanted? Anyone? Like someone thought so. Oh come on, this place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Correct. Collect clues to solve the mysteries of until dawn 